Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing pretty much the last of my Halloween finds for this year. And I am sorry if it looks a bit burr behind me guys. I'm actually moving and um, I'm moving south. So I've gone from the north to the east, from the east to the south. Who knows where I'll end up? Maybe in the west. <laughs> Anyway, so I've had a few orders. This is Argos and Wilco's, guys. So I'm covering Argos for 2021 and I'm going to be covering Wilco's and I've got my last little item from next. So I've done quite well. I am still going to wait for the Squishmallows to come out from Aldi. Um, a few things have come out on Asda's that I want to grab. I've actually got the Jack, the three Jack stackable pumpkins. I am going to be going away as well to Rochdale to see my family before I move. So I've got a lot happening. So I will cover Aldi and I probably will cover Asda and Sainsbury's. So I've got roughly three more shops to probably grab a couple of things from here and there. And I might do them all together as a collective haul like I'm going to do today. So the first thing I'm going to grab, because he's, he's not in a box or anything, I've just gone ahead and bought this for my granddaughter, so she's going to have this for Christmas. So I need to tell her mum not to watch this video because she will know what she's got as one of her gifts. So I seen this last year in Sainsbury's, but it was sold out. I didn't manage to get anything from Jack last year apart from the bag, which I still have upstairs. So I'm really happy about this. Although I have packed away, I can still technically put him into a box where he'll be safe but yeah I've got to go out um, next week and collect the other one which will be for me as Christmas present I will probably put that in a gift box I don't want us to just open it up like it is it is the official and it says the Tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas and it has all the information on there and oh my lord so you have to mould him into place guys so He's one of these, woo, this is cool. So you have to open his arms out because they're like wired mechanism and then pull out his other arm. Oh, how cool is that? Why don't they do a Sally in this? Because if they did a Sally, I would have bought Sally to go along with him and I would have bought Sally for my granddaughter as well. So basically, He's a head on a on a body. There we go. So oh my, it's quite heavy, guys. So he's just wearing his outfit, which is all tangled up at the minute. But once you hang him up, should we see if we can do it as a scale? So I'm not just going to be buying my granddaughter this for Christmas. Just just one thing that I've got for her. I'll grab her. A couple of other bits and pieces but i just know that she'll love this in her bedroom so i'm just going to hang it up i've got a nail up on the wall you might not see him now he might go out the shop let me just stand on here oh sugar oh sugar my dear. so you're gonna have to mess with his arms to get to get that do, 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 do. I think Craig's probably already got this and Jen from Scabby 13. So his legs are quite long and then he's got his booties on. Um, I think if you wanted to guys, you could actually fill his body up because it's all stitched here. So if you had some foam, you could fill in the foam and make him actually into more of a, a full bodied jack. So there is that. So there you go guys, I'm just going to step down gently. So he was £15 guys, so for £15 I think he was well worth the money. Uh, like I said, if you if you wanted to build him up, you could actually do that. I've got a black pen so I'm going to fill in his mouth, because his mouth is black and now it's white. Um, I will say to my daughter if she's got a nice um pen she could do the same thing or it's what she could do with me right all right so that was argos guys we might as well carry on with argos for now so then i grabbed two other items bearing in mind i'd already grabbed the stackable 
lantern the stackable pumpkins that i've showed so i think for argos i've grabbed a fair bit for halloween as in like every year decorations so i am super excited for these two items as well so they've come boxed up yeah, um, let me just open the box. Oh, so cool. Yay. So, it is in one piece. It's not parceled up very well, guys, I will admit, but it has a picture of what it is at the back, so I can show you that. Um, I've got to try and, try and get him out without... God, this is hard. There we go. Ooh. So I got a neon sign. If you take out the tab, it should actually work. I might put the tab back in so we don't ruin the batteries. And there you have your white neon bat. Now, obviously, I want the spooky sign, which was Sainsbury's last year. Again, I was so slow to the mark last year. Everything had gone out of Sainsbury's. I'd really left it to the last minute. This year, I'm going to be straight in there. Soon as I get confirmation that Aldi have got their stuff in, and um, as well as Aldi Sainsbury's, I'm going to go and grab whatever I can see that I like. Um, although I am on a... I am technically on a ban, guys, to be honest with you, but my husband's all right about it. He's like, you know, I know Halloween's your thing, so might as well just get out of get out of Halloween. It's also Zach's birthday, end of Halloween, so that's something else I need to sort out. I'm not too sure what we're buying him for his birthday yet, so we'll sort it. Let me just put that in there, and that in there. Okay, so moving on to the next item. Eee! <laughs> I've just showed you what it is, and I? I'm such an idiot. Um, how the hell do you get into this one? Oh, right, okay. So it opens up from the sides. Um, that it i don't really want to wreck the box because i want to be able to put it back in the box if that makes sense oh oh my lord oh my god this one's quite big oh my lord is and i'm glad that they, they come with batteries as well guys which you know some don't actually come with batteries but yeah thank you i have a lot of batch oh, that's just stuck in i have a lot of batteries to buy for my Halloween stuff, to be honest with you. How does this work now? It's not gonna work because that's in the way. Okay guys, so. Eek! <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it. If I can get the spooky, I could have the, the eek going first and then the spooky next and then the bat at the end. Maybe up onto my, um, I may just even put this on my wall, guys, to be honest with you. I don't know. There is some... There are two little hooky things here, guys, so you can hook it into the wall. Like... Like that, for instance, and then one on the other side. So... How about that? That's all right. <laughs> guys i can't remember the prices of the these ones i think there was something like eight pound and i can't remember how much that one was um altogether i think it came to 38.98 that was including 3.95 postage so i'm happy with that so thank you argos um just need a spooky sign hopefully the sainsbury's bring that out again this year Right, so this is something that I was trying to grab at the beginning and it just kept selling out and I bought it and I went back on to see and it sold out again. So these are selling out extremely fast. So the minute that they're coming into the shop, people are buying them. Now, I'm keeping all the boxes for this stuff so I can put it back in the boxes, but I'm actually using them 
So I did use this last night and it looked really of this. And I've got the label, took the label off. So this was the label that was stuck onto it. And it is a tea light holder ceramic and it's eight pound. And this is from Next, guys. Now I did notice on someone's um, picture on the ISO page, um, or just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I can't remember which one, but there was, um, some pictures of next and there was a haunted house thing at the bottom and I'm like really intrigued by that because anything that's haunted house this year I need to have but I've not found it online anywhere so it must be something that they're just having in the, in the stores I've gone in my store and they don't have anything Halloween related apart from the pumpkin that has the um, fake plants coming out of it I like it, I don't think it's worth £16 this was eight pound to me this is worth eight pound so it's a beautiful white pumpkin and you just put your tea light in there and it just has the little holes to let out the nice warm warm light i just love the the look of candle light i like that that kind of light so yeah guys um i'm actually using this at the minute but i'm gonna put it back in the box for now and that was all i grabbed from next guys because i've grabbed a fair few things from next including my spooky glasses which i'm happy with right last but not least wilco's now i did see something else from wilco's after i placed this order and it was too late because i'd already paid for this and what have you i may still grab it i might not i don't know this is only a small order guys nothing major nothing massive just a small order of a few things that i seen that i liked um i don't normally buy from wilco's for halloween to be honest with you this year i've bought probably more halloween home decor than halloween as in like decorations like gimmicky things now this was delivered by hermes it came rather rather fast um i didn't have to wait for delivery that long i think delivery was only a couple of days and you know they got my order ready pretty much the same day so i'm happy about that right my address is actually at the front I've not took it off i really should do really oh never mind there we go so this is my yeah it doesn't tell me the prices of these guys and i can't quite remember what i paid for it all but it were some of them i might remember right my first item which is wrapped up for all the wow is i don't know until i open it it's like a surprise isn't it oh yay so um they had these pumpkin um jars mason jars i do have school ones from, from previous years so I didn't want to buy any more school ones because I've got a purple one I've got a black one and I've got a clear one somewhere but I've never seen the pumpkin ones and I just thought this is so cute this was only a pound guys I really should have bought more than one I might do another will cause order with the other item that I want and grab a few more of these so these are really, really good and as you can see the straw stuck in because it's got room at the bottom of the straw but i like these jars um they're just great they're quirky for a pound and it just says the yeah pumpkin shaped mason jar so obviously you know that this lid can come off if you didn't want to use this for that you could use it for somewhere else you could possibly put a tea light in there and take the lid off and it still look pretty as a tea lighted thing so yeah so that's my first item guys from will cause my second item again well wrapped up i think there's two two items in here oh yeah there is i bought two of these oh did i oh i must have done yeah i must have done so i bought two of these guys oh they're so cute so i got two of the ghost mugs these were four pound I know because the other one I want is a pumpkin one and they're four pounds as well. What I probably will do is get two of the pumpkin ones and then another one of them or two more of them that'll just make it to what what is it four eight 
nine, ten, two of them, yeah. Two more of them and two of the other ones. But these are just like ghosty mugs. As you know, my kitchen's going to be skull and ghost. So I'm doing a mixture of two. I have placed an order with Killstar. I absolutely love their ghost mug. But I'm just trying to grab things that I really want. If they're still there in a four weeks time, I'll grab one of the ghost mugs. They probably won't because it's Halloween range. But these are nice, solid mugs. Really, really good price. So these were definitely £4. I do remember being £4. I don't know why I don't remember ordering two of them. Because it says only I only ordered one. It says here, one glass mason jar, one will call ghost mug. And then it has what this is. So I don't know. But I got two. It says I only ordered one. I'll go on my actual order and have a look. Last but not least, this box is a nice box, but I don't think I'll be able, it has fragile on either end. I don't think I'll be able to use it for anything. And then again, I could do. Oh, size of this, this was the best one. This was five pound guys. I'm sure I only spent 10 quid. Do you know what? I am sure that I spent 10 pound on the postage because they were four and that was one, so that was five. And this, I'm going to have to have a look at maybe that I got a free mug. Or maybe, I, I don't know. I just don't know. Right, so let's, well wrapped up, guys, which is how it should be. I think there should have been probably a bit of um, thingy around this as well, bubble wrap. But they've just wrapped it up in this. This is the new recycling paper that really is supposed to keep things from breaking <gasps> oh i love it so here's the lid it just needs a wipe down it's got a bit dusty so here's the mason mason jar i've got mason jar on my <gasps> oh i love it <laughs> so if i didn't get the pumpkin jar which i did actually i got three of them the home bargain ones. My dad didn't know that I, I grabbed two. I was after the actual one that looked like a pumpkin, but I never got my hands on it. But I'm happy I grabbed this one. I'm so happy. This is massive. So he's gonna go in my kitchen. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna put in him yet. I don't know if I'm gonna put biscuits in there or some kind of foodie item. I mean, I've got so this was five pound and it was worth every penny. When you think about the other pumpkins that we got from Home Bargains, they were 3 99 I'm amazed that some people will buy this and like charge crazy prices on eBay. And I really think that it's naughty to do that because the people genuinely want to have this item for themselves. They don't want to make any money out of it. I could quite easily have gone, do you know what? I'm going to spend 50 quid and get as many as 50 quid's worth we'll get of these and then sell them yeah I'll sell them for 30 pound maybe not 30 pound maybe 35 pound it's crazy I'm glad I got this and my two mugs and that's real cause guys I'm happy with my orders um I'm gonna actually wrap I think I might wrap this back up to be honest with you and all the other stuff because all my kitchen I won't go in together the white pumpkin, I will probably have that in my kitchen as well. Eventually when I do move, my glasses are filthy. I'm sorry if I've left my glasses on and you've got my ring light. And I'm sorry that I am as I am. You know, we are real people. We don't wear makeup every day. We don't do our hair every day. Especially those that have got chronic illness and disabilities like myself. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, this is this is me. This is how I'm gonna look today and I hope you're all okay with that. Okay guys, take care of yourself. Pop a comment on below. Which is your favorite item? I can't choose guys, I really can't choose. I like everything. Um, oh, I love it all. I'd have to say Jack because I absolutely love Jack. But you know, this is amazing as well. So yeah, happy days. All right guys. I'm out. Take care of yourself. Have a great Halloween and I'll be back again very, very soon. Hopefully I'll be back with the Squishmallow um, Aldi. I might just do another. 
Wilco's, um, which I might grab another one of these jars, to be honest with you. And I'll grab the two pumpkin jars and another of the mason jars because they all come in handy in your kitchen and I'm having a spooky kitchen, so why not? I'm scared about dropping this now, guys. Um, I'm just going to put it here. Okay, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>